Okay, <laughs> we're gonna have a video outside. I said it was gonna happen. I don't care if it's raining outside, I don't really care. We're having a video outside. Okay. So, there's this myth on our board. It's gone on for quite a while now, but I think it needs to be addressed, okay? You know, it was a little bit funny at first, but then people are taking it seriously now. And it's gotta be addressed. Okay. It's called the Fembot. Now, there is a Femmanon. Yes, this is a thing, okay. <coughs> we wouldn't post on the board, of course they do. But Fembot. See, that's that's not okay. <laughs> it's not, it doesn't exist, okay? And, I mean, it's obvious to pretty much anyone who cares to look into it, which most people don't. But, see, it's just this, this meme that shits up the board, kind of like me. Um, where women can be lonely. But you see, that's actually not possible. And it, <laughs> if you ever pay any attention to any of these horrible shit threads, you would realize that. So, why is that? Women go, oh, but I'm a woman and I'm lonely. So women can be lonely. <laughs> no, <laughs> here's the thing, okay? I've talked to many, many, many women from RNK and many women in general. You know, I've never been shy. You know, I'm not, people say I'm not a robot. It's probably, you know, one of the reasons why. Uh, you know, I don't have a problem talking with women. They just don't really like to, you know, <laughs> everything to do with me. Anyway, see, women and men have very different definitions of lonely. It was not always this way. And, it, you know, in history, there's been times where there's been, uh, in certain civilizations, certain societies, a very large surplus of women compared to men. And uh, women, you know, a lot of times, you know, we can talk our RNK talk about harems and Chad and polygamy and. It all has a, a, a fundamentally correct basis, but you know there was the spinsters and so on and so forth. You know, not every woman got a man. You know, but now in our current society, things are much the opposite. There's a large surplus of men. You know, we've not had any horrible diseases, not had any great wars in our generation that have taken a, a large percentage of the male population. Uh, in fact. There's been something that's happened that's uh, quite the opposite. You know, beyond, you know, kind of the breakdown of civilization and, you know, being more okay for multiple women to sleep with one man and they're not getting married and, like I've covered before. But, um, you know, take for instance the one-child policy in China. You know, all these, all these couples, for so long, you know, they could only have one child. And they would choose to have a male because, you know, you want a man to carry on your family name. You want a man to, you know, so of course the son was the, you know, option. But what did that do? That made an artificially high surplus of males compared to females in the population. Similarly in India, and in, you know, just kind of in that region, you know, Asia and such. There's just a lot of extra guys compared to women. That's why it's kind of a meme <laughs> to see you go on a Facebook page for like, sexy model dot xxx or whatever and there'll be like a thousand Indian guys oh you are very sex oh you are very you know <laughs> Tanjid Mohammed Alud commented you are my sex you know <laughs> shit like that you know it's just kind of just kind of what happens you know so back to the point men and women have very def different definitions of being lonely <laughs> when a man and many robots, you know, fit this description. They may ne never have had a date, a kiss, sexual intercourse, so on and so forth. Now, <laughs> I don't know how women define as lonely. <clears throat> I was actually talking to a woman not too long ago. 
She said, Eggman, I'm a real fembot. I'm a real fembot, I'm really for real. And I was like, oh yeah, really? She goes, yeah, yeah, I'm really for real. I'm really a real fembot, okay. I was like, okay, so why, what do you think? Well, first off, I play video games. Oh yeah, here we go. <laughs> I play video games, um, and I'm a PC gamer. Okay, that doesn't mean shit. Oh, and I watch anime. Okay, it doesn't mean shit. And I'll have you know, I didn't have a boyfriend in the last five months. <laughs> and I was like, really? Really, five months, huh? Kind of thought about that for a second. I was like, holy shit, you know what? If you're a young woman, five months without a, a male companion is actually an obscenely long time. Because those are five months you're never gonna get back of prime, you know, prime youth. <laughs> and I got, okay, so, that's so what Five months. <laughs> I just couldn't stop thinking about that. Five months. Now compare that. When was the last time you had a girlfriend? When was the last time you had a date? When was the last time you? And uh, man, and the same girl. She still had one of her ex-boyfriends had bought her a truck, paid it off, offered to buy her house. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> when was the last time you had an offer from a girl to? I mean, since we're all so equal now, and women are getting all these college degrees and shit, you know. When was the last time you had a girl buy you a car at her house? I'm gonna guess probably never. Unless you're Chad. Anyway, <clears throat> I digress again. And here's the thing, okay? <laughs> the women that come on the board, this is what, when they think, this is what they're thinking, you know, saying, oh, I'm so lonely. Oh, I'm so miserable. Oh, I'm so lonely. <clears throat> they probably. <laughs> I would say, you know, maybe you never know really know what to believe with these with these chicks because they're usually they're lying. I mean, usually they're lying right off the bat because when they say they're lonely and they haven't met a guy, I mean they haven't met the man. Oh, I've had sex with 600 guys, but I'm so lonely because it hasn't been the man who will be perfect in every way. Meanwhile, a lonely man. Oh, I haven't talked to a girl in my entire life, <laughs> you know. Something like that. So I mean, and <laughs> you'll never get proven wrong if you if you listen to what I'm saying, if you believe what I do. It's it's never wrong because that's just how it is. There's so many extra men. And I'm kind of a similar note. Okay, for instance, back when I was in my I was very very beta. <laughs> After I was coming out, it was October of last year first picked up my trip, I was first becoming memed, and I said, you know, okay, all you women see me. I'll go to any woman in the entire world, I'll take you on vacation, I'll do anything. You know what, just because I was so deprived of female contact, because I don't care, I'll fucking fly all over the world, I don't care where, it's, where you're at, if you're in Europe, if you're in America, I don't give a shit. And I talked to, I talked to quite a few girls, and they were like, well, I mean, they got offers for worldwide vacations all the time, okay? <laughs> Can you, like, you probably can't even comprehend this shit. And you have to approach them in just such a certain way, you know, that's how women are. You gotta just approach them in just such a certain way, otherwise they'll make up some bullshit lie, you know? So I approach them in just such a certain way. Like, oh, actually, no, I just got brought on a on a trip to Europe by some random guy off the internet who I didn't know, and then I just, you know, never talked to him again after that. I mean... <laughs> See, and they won't. They don't want you to know these things because they have to keep up this facade, these lies about how how they're so they're real fembots, and they're so lonely. They only got ten thousand dollars in gifts this year. They only got twenty thousand dollars in beta bucks. Oh, they're so lonely and so miserable. <laughs> and this is just it's like this is what they do. This is how. <clears throat> but I couldn't. I almost couldn't believe it. I was like, you know, I thought for sure. I was like, man, what kind of girl would resist? What kind of girl was just a worldwide vacation? Or, you know, fuck, I'll take you to Spain, Italy, I don't give a shit, you know? And they're like, oh, well, I've had much better than that. I might be morbidly obese and a shut-in, but I'm much better than that. I've gotten much better than that, and I don't need your shitty vacation. I'm like, what? What the fuck? Thousands of dollar vacation? And, oh, I, I get better than that all the time. I was like, what? <laughs> like, Are you fucking kidding me, dude? For real? Just go. Yes, much, much better than that.
I mean, just think about it, okay? There's this thing that's called the juggernaut effect. You might not be aware of it. it pertains to women. Jug or the juggernaut law, I forget what the hell we call it. Juggernaut law, or juggernaut effect, or whatever the fuck it is. Basically, dig this, okay? There's a lot of men out there who want a wife who isn't a lying, cheating whore. Turns out they're pretty hard to find. So what guys do is they go, okay, well, if this chick's really ugly, this chick's just really nasty, she's a nasty ass bitch, and she's gotta be, she's probably not getting dicked. She's not getting guys wanting to do all kinds of nice stuff for her. So she'll marry me and she'll, you know, hey, I'm gonna be getting it in, you know, I'm gonna be getting it on easy, you know, I'll be, lo I'll be lucked out, you know. If you wanna be happy for life, make an ugly woman your wife, etc., etc. okay? Go make, <laughs> that was one of my favorite, uh, it was a plenty of fish experiment they did. This girl, her whole fucking lower face, she had this horrible like bone disease, her face was like puffed out like You know, <laughs> she looked horribly disgusting and fucked up. Nice body, well, I won't lie, pretty decent body, but horribly like nightmare mode face. There was fucking, <laughs> I mean you should have seen these guys. I remember I posted some shit about it when it happened on RNK, but that was months ago. Shredded, rich, um, you know, all these things there. It's like, oh my god, guys aren't gonna go for her. That means I can step in and I can be the, <laughs> I can be the, this good, good, oh, good old perfect everything, and I can be the prince charming, and I can be. No, it's not. I mean, I tell you personally, I got rejected on OK Cupid by a girl that was missing part of her fucking skull, okay? Like, I was like up here or something, like something like grow in right here. So I was like, I like, you know, whatever, it was all fucked up. <laughs> and she was like, must be making $70,000 a year more. I was like, are you fucking shitting me? I mean, and you know, you think, oh, that's a bluff. <laughs> you know, I tried to hit her up. Just blew me off. Check my profile, didn't fucking respond. Let's take us into consideration. You know, there's a lot of guys. And of course, dignity plays into it. You know, what's not that? Guys got dignity, he's like, I'm not gonna fuck disgusting, horribly ugly, awful woman. Okay. Fair enough, you know, you got your dignity. Um <laughs> you're thinking, you know, oh my league, you know, I'm a I'm a 19 year old guy, I'm in shape, you know, I'm going to uni, uni, I'm going for this degree. So I should also be able to get a woman that's 19 and in shape. I'm going for a decent degree. Meh, <laughs> wrong. <laughs> no, those girls are fucking they're at the fucking frat parties every night getting triple, quadruple penetrated. I mean, even, <laughs> you're gonna work your way down and you're like, okay, well, doo -doo 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 -doo. okay, well, here's the next chick. I mean, you know, she's a little bit chubby. Oh, she's, you know, she's uh, a little bit, uh, you know, not very smart, but hey, you know what? Hey, you know what? Hey, you know, better for me because, hey, now I'm, now I got her, you know, she's gonna be my <clears throat> wrong. She's at the frat parties too. And she's just like, she just gets that slightly less chatty chat she gets sad she gets tad <laughs> she's getting quadruple gangbang by tad okay you're like okay 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 well i'm 23 now you know i'm in my entry level position i'm just gonna go okay <clears throat> this girl she works in the office whatever she, hr you know some totally retard department but hey you know what it's all good it's all good you know hey she's kind of fat but hey you know what I think, you know, a woman like her, she didn't do all that stuff. She didn't get gangbang. <laughs> Wrong. <laughs> you believed it. <laughs> Wrong. No. She was at, uh, let's see, where was she? Swimmers, they're not really like, you know, you got your football chads. Swimmer chads are like the second tier chad. Okay, she was getting quadruple penetrated by swimmer chads. They're like, hey, we have, we have a lot of experience with whales. <laughs> We're in the water a lot. <laughs> But see, a lot of guys go right to the chase. Oh, this girl's got fucking like one arm, one leg, one eye. Hey, baby, how's it going? <laughs> you know, hey, I got a million dollar vacation. Hey, you want a million dollars for just existing? Hey, hey, girl, hey, pay attention to me. Oh, there's no girls. Ah! <laughs> oh, man. It's fucked up, isn't it? But seriously, okay. Now, there is one, there is a way where fembots can exist, though. There is a way. I'll tell you this right now. Because I thought it up. I was like, okay, you know. I've known some, some girls, you know, that have actually fit the fembot description, you know, the, the, the fantasized, romanticized fembot, okay? 
Uh, <clears throat> first off, they're not on the computers. They're not on any social media. Nothing, no, uh -uh, can't be any social media. Um, no internet, just completely like devoid of all that. Neat, can't be outside, can't be in the view of Chad's. Like I said, collateral Chad is a thing. You think it's not? You need to fucking wake up out of La La Land. Collateral Chad's basically what that is. <clears throat> For girls who can meet all this stuff, they don't go outside, you know, they they don't, they're neat. All they got is maybe 4chan, maybe, maybe, you know, no, no, no social media, none of that. They could be at the store, and Chad, Chad's gonna be at the store eventually. He's gonna be there, he's gonna be like, what? I'm smelling pussy, I haven't fucked yet. There it is! <laughs> Run over. And then Chad magic, and then all of a sudden, you know, back on her back, legs are there, getting fucked. Uh, so okay, no social media, no computer, no internet. Never leaves the house. Neat. And you know what? <laughs> you know what's gonna happen? Mom's gonna come home one day. Oh, Fembot! Oh, you know, there's this lovely young man down at the... Chad shop, who I ran into. And you know what? Uh, I think you should really go out on a date with him. Here, I, I talked to him, and I'm going to set you guys up. And you know what? <laughs> Chad. Because listen, the mother, it's going to be the mother who's going to do it. Okay? Unless it's some, unless your dad plays golf or some shit, you know, and then, or some fucking thing where it's still going to be Chad anyway. <laughs> He's not going to set his daughter up with some fucking ugly sub-5 non-human that is going to give him repulsive, disgusting children. No, Chad's gonna get gonna get in there either way. <laughs> He's gonna get in there and oh yeah, I'll, okay, I'll go on a date with. <laughs> Works as Chad magic, and then you know, fembots. You can look for this too when the you know quote unquote you know they try to pretend they're fembots. They'd be like, oh well, I'm not interested in reg in those Chads. I'm not interested in those Chads. You know, that's not my type. You wanna know why? <laughs> I'll give you. Here's the reason. <clears throat> Because Chad already, Chad was probably, you know, first guy. Because listen, women don't consider, if you're not Chad, women don't consider you to be a fucking human being, okay? They consider you like, you're a fucking background character, okay? You're nothing, okay? So they meet Chad, and they go, oh, that's not Chad. That's just, that's just a nice young man, because he's the only fucking guy that exists in my range of vision, because he's the only fucking human that I consider human. <clears throat> and then Chad fucks him, Chad, you know, pumps him, dumps him, tosses him aside, and cues up the next... <laughs> From what? No, because that exists. Um, here's the next one for his dick. I go, oh my god! Oh, it was Chad! Oh, oh it was Chad! Oh. Then, <laughs> okay, okay, get it together. Oh, well, I, I don't like Chad. Chad, I've never liked Chad. He's not what I like. <laughs> just like, just like a lot of, okay, I guess maybe they are like robots in that respect because we all get fucking bitter for being rejected and treated like shit. And we all claim that we want something else and maybe. I think men are more capable of adjusting their their preferences. You know, women just kind of <laughs> I don't know. Women don't seem to until until they really hit the wall. They just kind of sit, keep on going, gunning for chads. But uh, yeah, I mean, if a woman goes outside, she goes. Eh, I mean, all you gotta do <laughs> you can make a fake female OK Cupid account. You don't have to put a fucking picture up. You don't have to do shit. I did it myself. Okay, dude. I put a fucking, made a fucking female LK Cupid account. No picture. <laughs> That's nothing. And you'll get, you'll still get, because people go, oh, maybe, maybe she's really hot. Or maybe she's really ugly. Oh, well, it's just, oh, hey, babe, how's it going? Oh, babe, how's it going? You know? <laughs> or just, like I said before, get an ugly picture. Get an ugly picture. It doesn't matter. Because <laughs> then they'll still go, ugly women are getting just as much attention for men as the hot ones. Because the hot ones, you know, guys are kind of, they get intimidated, and Chad's still fucking me the way. They get intimidated, you know, and then they're like, oh, well, I'll talk to this less attractive girl. <clears throat> you know, it just it works, because there's so many men that are getting nothing. <laughs> you know, 2080, baby. <laughs> 2080, baby! 80% are getting left in the fucking trash heap. They're getting left in the fucking dust with nothing, okay? <laughs> they're, there's gonna be a lot of motherfuckers that are headed straight for the fucking bottom of the barrel. That, I mean... 
You, I mean, like, what was that? That guy, you know, you, know, you see it. There's that, uh, what, she's like the Asian chick. She's really, really, like, extremely morbidly obese. She takes pictures with, the, like, the shredded guy. And everyone's like, ooh, he's a, he's a prostitute. And he's a blah, blah. And then you look into it. She's got a YouTube account with this, with her boyfriend. Because this is her boyfriend. <laughs> this guy's a fucking beta. 